Well, that's later anyway. This is where it begins for me. Right on this road. outfits that want to do anything but foul things up for everybody else. Hey, what kind of outfits? Say that again. Outlaw outfits, like yours. Okay, Square. Right now, you want to drag Johnny here 100 yards for beers, or you're chicken? <laughs> nah, the Square's chicken. Yeah, they're all chicken. <laughs> you want to see something? You want to see Johnny go? Oh, he can really go. He can really screw it on. <laughs> <laughs> One of these scrambles. $5,000? Boy, I'd sure like to win me $5,000. Yeah, you dummy, you uh, come here. If you win, they give you one of these beautiful gold statues. That's what they Solid do. gold? Sure, solid gold. Dip. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing with it? Hey, you take it home to your mother. Yeah, then you throw it away. <laughs> get up, break it up. Put these All of you stand back. Hey, where can I get me one of these jazzy suits? I want to look like a street cleaner, too. <laughs> hey, who are you? What are you doing there? You a cop or something? Uh, huh? Oh, come on! Don't push anybody. Okay, okay, break it up. We got enough entertainment around here. I've seen enough of you guys to last me forever. Now hit the road. 
I mean, right now. Get going. We want to watch the thrilling races, Daddy. <laughs> One more cute remark, and you won't be riding any sickles. I'll put the bunch of you away for a month. Now get going. Look what Johnny won. Hey, hey, what's the matter with your second place? So Johnny only won second place, huh? What do you mean? The first place was two feet high. <laughs> hey, Johnny, look. These squares are having a dance here in Corbinville tonight. We'll go, huh? No, man, that's nowhere. Ah, come on, we can clobber it. Come on, Johnny. Let's go someplace. Let's get out of here. Every time you look around, there's cops. All right, let's get rolling. This way. They know where they're going. Termites, nutty. Ten guys like that give people the idea everybody drives a motorcycle is crazy. What are they trying to prove anyway? Beats me. Looking for somebody to push them around so they can get sore and show how tough they are. Yeah. They usually find it someplace, sooner or later. <laughs> For pleasure. Jimmy, you better put some more beer on ice. What is this joint? Hey, what war do you suppose this joint was left over from? Hey, fellas, drag for beers. Who wants to drag for beers? Last guy at the door of that joint buys beers. Last guy in buys. Ah, 
they're just dragging for beers. Room, room. And this guy, blip, 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 boom. <laughs> he doesn't know how to drive. Yeah. Yeah, there. There's a boy hurt right here. It's his ankle. Looks pretty bad. What's all that, Kathy? What's all that? Somebody killed? Hey, crazy, you can't sleep in the street. Man, look at this sickle. You really stacked up this thing. I'll call Dr. Ziegler. Get your pickup and we'll take him over. Harry! Harry, you seen how it happened. Those motorcycles were coming right straight at me. I swung my wheel over as hard as I could, but they... they... Take a look at that. What about this, Harry? Well, it was an accident. I, I saw it. Art got excited, that's all. Wait, you gonna arrest anybody? Take it easy, Art. Take it easy. I'm not excited. I'm just telling you what happened. I tried to miss them, and then he hit me. My car's a wreck, and somebody's got to pay for the damages, and I mean it. Okay. You the big cop in the town? Well, next time you tell him to look where he's going, because he don't know how to drive. I mean, he ought to turn one way or the other, you know what I mean? And there was guys all over the street trying to miss him. Now, just a minute. And he's all right, but he's got one of my boys all busted up. Now, look here, Harry. Are oh, you going it, to... Forget it, Art. Forget it. Some cop, huh? See Johnny back him down? Yeah. What a screwball town. <laughs> Art Ponder's too old to be driving an automobile. <laughs> Where was he going anyway? Always going someplace crazy, excited, taking a lot of vitamin pills, drinking, overstimulated. <laughs> Ought to arrest a whole lot of them. I call a militia. Do you want something? Yeah. I'd like a bottle of beer. Beer's just in the bar. Oh, all righty. Scrape no more. Good as the rest of them, huh, Bob? Oh, no. Harry, aren't you going to do something about this? Well, what do you expect? Wait a minute. Art, what do you want Harry to do? Arrest all these boys, all 30 or 40 of them, or whatever there is? It's the principle of the thing. You let something like this go by, and anything goes. That's right. Go ahead and make your complaint, Art. I sure will. Art, that's silly. Your car's okay, you're okay, and it's lucky the way you drive. <laughs> my life. 
We've been over to Carbonville at the meet. A bunch of our motorcycles came through this way yesterday. They didn't stop. Is that what they give you in those races for killing yourself? That's right. You want it? Hmm? Well, go on, take it. Go ahead. No, go on. You can't do that. You, you want it. You have to get your name engraved on it or whatever you do. It's important to you. You don't, you don't give something like that away, just like that. Not unless you knew a girl real well and, well, and you liked her. Hey, Johnny. Yo. About this town. They got a dock here. They're gonna rewire Crazy. Hey, what are we gonna do, sit around and scratch ourselves? Yeah, we gonna wait for Crazy, or are we gonna get out of this dump? We're gonna wait for Crazy. City steaks? Well, we serve good meat. Uh-huh. Um, where's the motel? Well, the hotel is right over there. Hey, they got a hotel here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come on, lead me to that brew, will you, man? <laughs> hey, check the hot ride. <laughs> said you want some glasses. Oh, that was an hour ago. Well, never mind. I'll do it myself. Take over here, will you, Jimmy? Yeah, come on, yeah, come on Jimmy. Hey, 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 Jimm
Where are you going when you leave here? Don't you know? Oh, man, we're just gonna go. Just trying to make conversation. It means nothing to me. Well, on the weekends, we go out and have a ball. Well, what do you do? I mean, do you just ride around, or do you go on some sort of a picnic or something? A picnic? Man, you are too square. I'm, I, I have to straighten you out. Now, listen, you don't go any one special place. That's cornball style. You just go. A bunch gets together after all week. It builds up. You just... The idea is to have a ball. Now, if you're gonna stay cool, you got to whale. You got to put something down. You got to make some jive. Don't you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah, I know what you mean. Well, that's all I'm saying. My father was going to take me on a fishing trip to Canada once. Yeah. We didn't go. Crazy. How about a little dance, huh? Come on. Hey, how about you? You want to struggle? Let's try. That girl. Oh, you're a daring Carbonville, you want to make it? Aren't you mistaken about that? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my. Coffee, please. Uh, two coffees, please. You want to go? No, I can't. How come? Well, I can. Besides, it's silly. You just came from Carbonville. So what? We just go back over there, that's all. <laughs> hey. Hey, you gentlemen, order some coffee. I think you ordered some coffee over here, didn't you? Young ladies waiting for you. That's a good boy. What's with him? yourself something, did you? Well, that's a nice souvenir to have. Now, look 
Johnny. Out there, I think you got me a little wrong. I got a job to do here, but I'm not hard to get along with. It's generally just a misunderstanding. But it looks like anything that might develop into real trouble, or it can be decided if folks just sit down and talk it over. Dad. Would you like me to fix you a steak sandwich, or...? No. Now, what did you do that for? Why are you trying to be so rude? I don't like cops. Let's get out of here. Come on, Kenry. Johnny, did you get lined up with that chick? No, man. Her old man is that itchy cop in there. How about that? Let's get out of this town. I'd like to get me a cop's daughter sometime. Some deal, I think. <laughs> Sweetheart. Hey, what are you doing in this miserable gully, Johnny Malo? I love you, Johnny. I've been looking for you in every ditch from Fresno to here, hoping you was dead. Chino's giving him the needle, and your boyfriend don't go for that. Uh, <laughs> You've been having yourself a time, huh, Johnny? It's you and me and go inside and have a beer, and I'll be delivering Christmas out of you. Johnny, for old times. Oh, don't take that away from Chino. It's so beautiful. Chino needs it. Makes Chino feel like a big, strong man. Yeah, Chino wants to be a big racetrack hero with all these girls. Power! Look, I didn't win it, Johnny. I just gleeped it. But I gleeped it off a guy that didn't win it either. Look, Johnny, you want one? How about you go gleep one someplace for yourself, huh? Wait a minute. All right, this is the main event. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this lovely young lady over here, she'll hold this beautiful object signifying absolutely nothing. Now, watch closely. See how the timid maiden of the hill clutches the gold to her breast. And see how she fights back a tear while a hero bleeds to death in the street. Don't know themselves, probably. Let's stop this. I've seen hoodlums like this before. If you don't get chuck with them, the minute they get out of line, you're sunk. You are. 
are the cop, aren't you? If you can't boot these jerks out, there's plenty of us can't even have to bust a few heads. That won't help matters. Ah, now, take it easy, Charlie. Take it easy. Nothing but talk, talk. Let's see if everything's all right at home. Take you both down and lock you up. Both what? Of us yeah, so together. we can all talk without everybody yelling. This yeah, man came over and me my car. Whether I hold anybody or not depends on just how badly this boy here is hurt. See, I'm with the chief. You hurt, man? Uh, he don't feel a thing. Harry. Let me talk to you. All right, you guys, break it up. Come on, come on, move along, move along. Look, Harry, you sure you know what you're doing? Well, of course I know what I'm doing. Charlie could be part to blame, but let's try and get these guys out of town. Sure, these kids will be going tomorrow. You and I have to still make a living here. If you arrest Charlie Thomas, he'll never forgive you. Well, okay. Okay, come on. So what about him? Come on. Oh, fraud face, dear friend. We are being parted. Our love is being nipped in the bud. Now, wait a second. What did this boy do that uh, frog face didn't do? Johnny, I want to talk to you a minute. I've given you a couple of chances. I, I don't know what you're after. Hey, Chief, let me tell you about Johnny. Shut up. I'm in a spot here. You can, you can do me a favor. You take your boys and go on, and, and, and that other bunch, too. Can I go, too, Chief? Yeah, and he goes, too. I made a deal with a cop once. Let me tell you about Johnny, Daddy O. No, he's OK, but you don't get on his back. You don't like nobody on his back. You know, we had the same club once. And the Beatles got on his back all the time. <laughs> you didn't like that. Then you don't want to do what I say. Well, save me, Johnny. I'm going to the can. Yes or no? I said I don't make no deal with no cop. OK. Come on. Hey, Johnny. Write my mother a letter and tell her I'm in the can, huh? <laughs> hey, Johnny. You gonna let that phony cop get away with it? <laughs> hey, write my mother a letter. Tell her send me a case of beer, huh? Oh, the shame of it all. Oh, the shame of it all. Honey, let's give this joint the needle. Yeah. Hey, what time is it? Hey, where's that chick that's got my gold? Uh, she was standing right over there. Hi, Johnny. Well, thank you. Hey, Johnny. Don't you remember? Riches. Oh, you remember the last weekend we went out scrambling? Oh, Before the yeah. club split up. Yeah. How have you been? Well, I'm still swinging. I didn't know what happened to you. Well, it's been a year I didn't see you. I thought about you. Listen, I'll see you later, OK? Hey, where's my gold? I'm gonna blow this joint. 
Fine. Go someplace else and cause trouble. Listen, he put Chino in the can. Why didn't he put that frog face in the can? He was afraid of making a mistake. Afraid of losing his job. It's a town joke and I'm stuck with him. I haven't got any business being a cop. No more than you have with that. He's a fake. Like you. Well, you've impressed everybody now. Big motorcycle racer. Why don't you take that back so they can give it to somebody who really won it? To what? Who are you, some girl to make sandwiches or something? Your father wears a hat, says he's a big important man. You start telling me what to do? Nobody tells me what to do. You keep kneeling me. If I want to, I'm going to take this joint apart, and you're not going to know what hits you. Hey, Bear. Hey, Johnny, what's the pitch? We leaving? Not just yet. Dorothy, get me the sheriff's office at Ellsberg. I'll see if I can get through for you, Harry. Hey, look what's in here. Hey, hello, baby. Hey, how does this work? Hey, can I get my you? mother on there? Yes, you come to have a mother. This is Dorothy. Help. Hello. Hello, baby. Hey, how does this work? Hey. Goodbye, Dorothy. Go on. Take the day off, Dorothy. Oh, yeah. Come on, get out of here. Now listen, you bunch of hoodlums, you're causing enough trouble. Hey, 
Remember? That was the first time I ever saw you. I haven't seen you since. We really got ourselves hung on the Christmas tree, didn't we? Boy, was I green. Was I really green. I thought I was really living it. I had me a guy and we were really gonna go. But we had a lot of yaks anyway, didn't we, Johnny? Well, say it. Can't you say something? Please, Johnny. I won't get on your back. I wouldn't do that. But we had a lot of yaks anyway, didn't we? What do you want me to do? Send you some flowers? Hey, where's that girl? Where's that Kathy? Bars closed, counters closed, everything's closed. Hey, Johnny, wait a minute. Can't you stop this? Hey, where's that guy I'm looking for? I don't know, look, I treated you people right. If you can stop this, well, I don't I'll... stop nothing, man. But they're wrecking my place. My whole oh, place yes, is going to get right. All right, man, what do you think? Oh, no. Hey, 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 hey. You all right, Charlie? Get to work on these boys. Anybody bring a gun for me? Yeah, here's one. Now, wait a minute, Charlie. What for? You want to wait till somebody gets killed before we take action? I don't go all the way with Charlie either, Bill, but we've got to do what we can to protect ourselves. You've got to admit that. Well, I do admit it, but two wrongs never made anything right. When you start using guns... Well, I've got a gun, and I'm going to use it one end or the other. Anybody wants to stay and talk some more can have an ice cream social with Bill here. Anybody don't, can come with me. If you find him, bring him to the back of the store. We'll meet back there. 
Well, we'll do what we can. Let's try and get hold of this boy Johnny before Charlie and the others do.
get up. fight back. I'm too tired. It would be better, wouldn't it? Then you could hit me. You think you're too good for me. Nobody's too good for me. Anybody thinks they're too good for me, I make sure I knock them over sometime. Right now, I can slap you around to show you how good you are. And tomorrow, I'm someplace else, and I don't even know you or nothing. Do you want to? I wouldn't waste my time in a square like you. What do I want to knock myself out for? I'm gonna take you back and dump you. Come on, where are you going? Johnny. Quit that. It's crazy, isn't it? You're afraid of me. I don't know why, but I'm not afraid of you now. You're afraid of me. I'm afraid of you. Are you cracked? Come on, get on. I wanted to touch you. I wanted to try, anyway. Try what? I don't know. I wanted to make it the way I always thought it would be sometime. With somebody. The way I always thought it might be. You're still fighting, aren't you? We're always fighting. Why do you hate everybody? I've never ridden on a motorcycle before. It's fast. It scared me. But I forgot everything. It felt good. Is that what you do? I'm gonna leave. That's what you want me to do, isn't it? You know what I used to think about? I used to think about it a lot after my mother died. That somebody would come here and stop at Uncle Frank's place and buy a cup of coffee or something. And he'd like me right away. He'd take me with him. Johnny, you were going to give me that statue. Will you give it to me now? Why? I don't know. I just wondered if you still wanted to give it to me, that's all. It's crazy. Do you want this guy to take you, this guy, at a cup of coffee? No. Wherever he was going, I guess. Shaky. I wish I was going someplace. I wish you were going someplace. We could go together.
let you and me have a beer, and I'll be the living Christmas out of you. <laughs> Oh, man, come on, get everybody together. We're gonna get out of here. Storm the Bastille! There he comes. That's him. Dad, they, they've got Johnny. They're taking him. Have you just been sitting here? Aren't you going to do anything? There isn't anything to do, Kathy. We've got to help him. They took him in a car, Mr. Thomas and some men. He wasn't doing anything. He was trying to stop it. He was going to leave. How are things at Frank's? The fight started. I don't know. I came to look for you. Uncle Frank is very upset. Well, he got what he wanted. Business before pleasure. Dad, listen. They've gone crazy. Everybody. They got Johnny. You've got to help him. They're going to beat him up or something. I tried to talk to him. Don't you even care? What can I do? Just nothing, I guess. But if you don't do something, you're worse than any of them. They brought it on themselves. I saw it coming, but what could I do? Charlie Thomas is a bully. He was a bully in the third grade. What am I supposed to do? Shoot somebody? Charlie, Charlie, let me talk to the boy. Bill, I warned you to stay out of this. Now I'm in it. Get out of our way. Go on. My old man used to hit harder than that. Oh, shut up. Hold on there. Get away from that boy. Get back. This has got nothing to do with you, Harry. We've got a little job that's got to be done. This is my job. You won't have it long. We're doing something that should have been taken care of before this. Pounding a little respect for law and authority into this guy's thick skull. That's not the way to do it. You got a better way? You've had a lot of time to try it. Harry, look, you're too soft-hearted. This is no time for kindness. It's as good a time as any. We're doing this our way. We're going to make good and sure he doesn't try anything like this right away soon again. Now, I don't know what he's tried or what he hasn't tried. This boy is in my custody. If he's done anything to deserve punishment, he'll get it. But in the right way and not from you. Now, now, Harry, take it easy. Take it easy. After all, we're all old frills. Now, let's be calm about it and let's talk it over. Come on, now. Well, yeah, let's talk this over, Harry. Hey!
the idea. Let's go. Harry, how did all this get started anyway? Sure, if we had this man, we had this whole thing stopped when he stuck his nose in. There's a little more to it all than All right, that. all right. We'll find out what happened. Round up everybody on a motorcycle. Pick up all the witnesses you can find. The old man is dead. Dishwasher down the street. That makes it a manslaughter charge, doesn't it, Sheriff? We'll see. We'll see. Let's pick up everything and sort it out inside. Go. Twenty years is too good for him. I spotted him for the ringleader the first five minutes. I knew somebody was going to get killed. I couldn't get anybody to listen to me. You killed Jimmy with a lot of talk, just as surely as this boy killed him with a motorcycle. Now, wait a minute. Oh, I... you're right, only OK, talking. OK, no. that's enough. Now, stop it. That's all. Well, son, you've got yourself something here. Real important trouble. Just shows you what a boy can do if he'll work at it. Well? Haven't you anything to say? I didn't kill nobody. There was some of those guys just coming up the street after me, and I just took off, that's all. Maybe something hit my sickle or something like that. I don't know what happened. And I did a big brody, and I went out, and that's, that's all. Yeah. Well. Hey, let's go. I located my daughter, Stu. She went home. You want to talk to her? No, I'll bring her in later. I think you better talk to her now. Oh, you do? Well, I don't. I've been up half the night with this thing. 
I've got a long drive home before I can get this joker booked. But she was with the boy when... He knows that. Our plan is... Shut up, Frank. All right, come in. Sit down. That'll be all. Kathy's my niece. I think I have a right to stay. All right, but keep quiet. Well? It's crazy. Yeah, I know. I've got one fact. The man's dead. And our boy here is stuck with it. I don't think it was his fault. Do you know one way or the other? No. You haven't fallen for this fellow, have you? No. No, I couldn't. Let's go. They beat him up. I saw them. He wasn't doing anything. I know he was leaving. He just wanted to go with... Yes. I know. Sheriff, listen. Sheriff, wait, please. Kathy, she's upset. She didn't mean that. But regardless of what happened to old Jimmy, that boy deserves everything he gets. Way out here, saw so run out of the park fighting him off. No, no, no. Listen, Uncle Frank's all wrong. He helped me. They were after me on motorcycles and... She was crying, trying to get away from him. I'm trying to get away from him. Get away. <laughs> Maybe you better tell him, Frank. <laughs> tell me what? Why did uh, Art and I were coming up the street now? We didn't see who threw it, but the tire iron either hit the boy himself or the motorcycle, and it went wild. Yeah. Who threw what? The tire iron. You know, it's a. Well, it kind of a the thing, thing to take the tire off the rim. It, yeah, somebody threw it and it landed at our feet. Why didn't you say so before? <laughs> Sit down. John Strabler. You got any friends, Johnny? You picked up a few around here last night, strange as it seems. A couple anyway. They got you off the hook for a while. I don't get you. I don't get your act at all, and I don't think you do either. I don't think you know what you're trying to do or how to go about it. I think you're stupid. Real stupid. And real lucky. Last night, you scraped by. Just barely. But a man's dead on account of something you let get started even though you didn't start it. I don't know if there's any good in you. I don't know if there's anything in you. But I'm going to take a big, fat chance and let you go. There'll be a hearing on this tire iron business. You'll get a summons. And you'd better show up. Put him on the road. Uh, is that yours? Yeah. Go ahead. Don't you want to say anything to these people? What's the matter? You've been hit over the head so often you don't know when you're getting a break? You could at least say thank you. It's all right. He doesn't know how. Okay, hot shots, the fun is over. Every one of you monkeys is down in my book, and every stick of damage around here will be paid for. You've got ten minutes to clear out. Just stick your nose back in this county, any of you. 
And you'll never see daylight again as long as you live. Now get. Coffee. 